1863, during the American Civil War, the Battle of Gettysburg raged on, becoming the bloodiest battle to be fought on American soil. Three soldiers fighting for the Confederacy, disguised in Union attire, marched on with Union forces once discovered, the Union promptly made an example of them. They were hanged until dead right here at the Sacks Covered Bridge. The hanging took place at dusk, which is, historically, the time most hangings would occur. The historian in Luke was enthralled in the story his guide was weaving. Luke yelled, ouch, feeling a sharp poke into his left side, spinning around to glare at whoever just poked him. His girlfriend, April, had a sheepish grin on her face. Luke scoffs, what was that for? April Smith, I was talking to you and you were ignoring me. Annoyed, Luke stated, I am paying attention to the tour guide. You know I love history. Maybe you should listen and you could learn something for a change. Turning back to his guide and listening to her. Legend has it that if you're unlucky enough to be on this bridge at the time of their death, you will meet the same end as the soldiers. The tour guide looks at the crowd and gives them a playful wink. But it's fine. We have not had to cover up any deaths in years. The crowd laughed at her joke. After the tour guide has finished telling her tale, April spins on her heels to look at Luke. Okay, she's done. Now can we go? I'm bored. And it's hot. I want ice cream. April complains. Yes, we can go now. Let's find Tyler, Luke placated. Finding Tyler, they set out to go to one of the many ice cream parlors in Gettysburg. While eating their ice cream, April makes a suggestion with a mischievous look on her face. We are going to this bridge at dusk that you seem to enjoy so much, Luke. And we'll see if the ghosts really exist, or more likely, they are fake as shit. Still will make for a great story. Tyler looks over at April, his mouth agape. He continues to stare at her as if she has three heads. He yells in the middle of the ice cream parlor. You want to jail? One? The hell no? Go fuck yourself. Come on, man. Luke coaxes. It's fine. Nothing bad will happen. It's all made up for the tourists. No one actually believes this shit. It's just for fun, and we'll get more out of the trip. We most likely won't be here again. Tyler concedes. Fine. I will come along to be the lookout for you too. I can't have you getting arrested after all. But, mark my words, I will not be stepping one foot onto that bridge. That is simply out of the question. If you two have a problem with that, then I will not be coming along on this little suicide mission of yours. April laughs at him and says, Okay, if you want to be a coward and believe in this superstitious crap, that's real fine, but we are going. After eating their ice cream, the group go to the hotel room, change, shower, and get ready for the night's event. About an hour before dusk, they head out for the bridge. Once they got there, the atmosphere was ominously thick. But what Tyler noticed most was the lack of noise. No insects or other sounds could be heard near the bridge. But just before they got close to the bridge, the night seemed just like any other night. Approaching the bridge, April and Luke sat foot on it. As the sun began to fade and dusk set in, a fog started to form around them. Tyler, that refused to set foot on the bridge, watched on. Soon, he wasn't able to see Luke and April anymore. Still able to hear them, he was not worried. As if on cue, he heard both of them scream, and not wanting to step foot on the bridge, he screamed. Oh my god, guys, what's going on? Slowly, as the fog fades, he sees the bodies of his two friends suspended in the air by ropes, swaying back and forth, even though there was no wind. Hello, it's been a while since I've uploaded. I got very busy with school, but... My semester finally ended, and it's been done for a while now. Um, I was just unable to work on videos due to some family issues. Everything's all good though, and I hope everyone had a fun and safe Thanksgiving for those who are from America. This story was written by PA Nightmares, who also voiced the lines of Tyler in the story. He's a good friend to me, and this story was really fun to put together, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to have a bit of a regular upload schedule soon, especially since I have a lot of stories lined up. I also wanted to mention that I started streaming on Twitch recently, um, so I really like playing video games, especially with my friends, so you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter to know when I'm streaming, and we can chat while I play some games. 
Um, a lot of the games I play is stuff like Dead by Daylight, Minecraft, Overwatch, and probably a few other games that I've recently like looked into that I think would be really fun to play on stream. All the links will be in the description. And that's all I really have to say. I hope everyone is doing well and stay safe.